Hey friends, it's Erin here on day 1 millionth and whatever of the uh, lockdown in Canada, in Ontario, I should uh, clarify. And I uh, just thought I would uh, share a video today that I hope will find, uh, find helpful for those who need it. But we're gonna be talking about rule following and how to stop being a rule follower and start following yourself. So I was a huge culprit of this. And ever since I was a kid, I've always been super vigilant about not doing anything wrong and never getting in trouble. And this probably really annoyed my sisters. And maybe it was because I was the firstborn, but I had to be a rule follower. I never wanted to disobey my parents. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't have sex before it was socially acceptable. And I was that friend that you'd go to parties with and I'd walk over to you before you even cracked that beer and I would look you straight in the eye and I would say, are you sure you wanna drink that? You know, it's bad for you. You know, you're gonna get in trouble. I was that annoying friend and I was constantly consumed with this unconscious belief that following the rules meant I was a good person and disobeying the rules made me a bad person. And not being able to accept failure really did a number on my self-worth because I was always looking outside of myself for the opinions of the uh, of others and the approvals of others and having other people make decisions for me because I could never trust my own. And this could be my friends, this could be my parents. And this created an internal self doubt that grew over the years throughout my life. And it really transcended to every part of my life and was deep seated within my relationships and with my relationship with myself. So after years of not trusting myself, leaning on others for others' opinions and approval and going through a difficult divorce as a result of not listening to myself, let's be serious, I realized I needed to make a change to save my life. Because if not, I would die without living it. I no longer wanted to be a rule follower, obviously following the rules of life and society but being able to give myself permission to live by my own rules and trust my own decisions and create a life that I really loved instead of someone else's idea of my life, how my life should be. And I needed to rely on myself to make the choices based on my inner knowing to know and to feel that I am worthy so that my choices, I'd be seeing the positive results or negative if you know, if they're negative, I learn from them. But if they're positive, I take that positiveness and put it toward my worthiness so that I was determining my worth. And within that, I was able to start this little practice, this practice of doing a weekly self check-in to go over any discomfort or anxiety that I was having with myself this week. Yep. This was an hour to myself where I just talked to myself and I would ask me how I was feeling and how those situations were making me feel and what decisions that, you know, made me uncomfortable and what, what outcome or what decision should I make that is good for me? And what situations was I feeling guilty about that actually made me feel great that I needed to give myself permission to enjoy? So I got into the practice of finding myself in situations where I had guilt, I felt uncomfortable, but knowing that I wanted to do this one thing, I would say to myself, I grant myself permission for eating the chips, for having a glass of wine. Just in that moment and taking little slices of things that brought me discomfort or thought I was breaking the rules and allowing myself to enjoy it made the world of difference in my life. And really tuning in to what my body is feeling and listening to what it's saying, whether it's yelling in my ear or it's giving me little whispers and cultivating this, pra this practice week over week has made me really be able to understand my feelings. 
And instead of shaming myself for, you know, having that glass of wine or eating that bag of chips on a Friday night, I let myself know that it's okay. You have permission to do this. You know, it is not every time that I'm sitting down and eating a bag of chips. I'm a pretty active person. So I can, you know, take that with a grain of salt but it's being able to embrace the moment and embrace the joy of doing that activity instead of putting all this blame on yourself and shame. And you end up not enjoying the bag of chips anyway. So why are you eating them? You might as well just sit back, put your feet up and enjoy that bag of chips and that glass of wine because that's what you wanna do anyways. And adding shame, it's just gonna propel you into you know, shaming yourself for a couple hours more after, after eating it, because you are just going to feel so guilty. So give yourself a break and give yourself permission to do the things that, that make you happy, that feel good to you. And it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks because it's your life and you only have one and don't waste it. So thanks guys for checking out this video. You can see more here on my YouTube channel and uh, you can also visit my website. It is www.thejoytribecove.ca and I'll see you next time.